The difference between the words subject to and assigned to may seem minor, but the distinction can be profound with mortgage conveyances. In Vincent v. Garland, we'll explore how conveyances subject to a mortgage may permit a grantor to foreclose on the mortgage. William Garland mortgaged his real property to Grover Garland. William then conveyed the property, subject to the mortgage, to Marcella Vincent. When a payment was later missed on the mortgage, Grover started a foreclosure action against William and Vincent. Before a judgment was reached, William paid the money due on the mortgage to Grover. Grover then dismissed the action against William. However, pursuant to an agreement between Grover and William, Grover continued the action in his name against Vincent. Subsequently, the property was foreclosed and sold to Grover, who had promised to sell the property to William. Before Vincent's equity of redemption expired, she brought an action for quiet title in a California state trial court. The trial court ruled that Vincent didn't have a right to the property. Vincent appealed to the California Court of Appeal.